This is a DaVinci Resolve Speed Editor. It is a keyboard specifically made for editing videos. It features this beautiful flywheel, which allows you to quickly sift through the footage and pick and place it on the timeline. It has mechanical switches with function keys for the most common editing tasks. It's a standalone keyboard, but it can be built into the table desk to make it more flat and not so strenuous on the wrists. And that's what I'm making today. But first, design choices. I would like to sync the keyboard as much as possible, make it completely flat. But due to the chamfer of the keyboard, the edge of the 9mm birch plywood I'll be using will be shown and it would be also sharp and brittle. Typical edge treatment is a round over fillet or 45 degree chamfer, which could be the same depth as the one on the keyboard to complement it. Or the chamfer can be negative to cover the one on the keyboard. All three options needs to support the keyboard somehow and that idea is yet to come. For the outside edge I could use the same chamfer or fillet, but then I noticed the shape of the edge on my MacBook Air and I think that will make the table look lighter or as Johnny Ive says, effortless. So before doing anything serious I prototyped all of the ideas. There are two corner radiuses, the 10mm is for classic top mounting of the keyboard and the 8mm is for the flat sinking. The traditional top mounting doesn't look bad at all, but the top of the keys is 10mm above the table and I think that's a bit too much. The synced chamfer cover mount looks weird. It is also quite hard to make and even small imperfections are just screaming. The negative chamfer and the sharp edge is just a no-go. The fillet looks similar. The round over bit I have has an aggressive radius and the exposed edges are just too wide and obvious. And that leads us to the partial chamfer which I think perfectly complements the one on the keyboard. It isn't that hard on the layers of the plywood and it can also act as a pen holder. The MacBook Air outside edge looks just fantastic. I used the same 45 degree chamfer bit and sunk it around 6 mm deep, leaving the 3 mm 2 ply edge. The edge looks lighter, but still can be seen from shallow angle, so I went a step further and this looks much better and that's what I will use. And if you are wondering how I measure the radiuses, I have this Indian bracelet looking thing which is a set of 3D printed radius measurement tools. I can measure the outside and inside edges by comparing the shape until I have a perfect match. So that's all explaining done and now we can dive straight into the build. Enjoy!